Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Martha Messenger. We are back on another video. This one's going to be about seven reasons not to have sex before marriage. Benefits that come with it. Let's go. Let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Number one, simple, guys, because God says so. The Bible says, I'll leave a verse right here. It talks about how that you are the, the, the temple of God. The spirit of God dwells within your temple. So when you fornicate, not just only with having sex with someone also, it's also with, you know, you masturbating or you watching porn. That's a, another form of fornication. Okay. And you're sinning against your own body. Okay. Cause God said, God doesn't want you to do that. So always understand if you do fall short, just repent from your sins and, you know, ask God for, you know, the strength to fight. Cause it's every day, every single day is a battle, a battle against the flesh. So yeah, this is the number one reason why guys not to have sex before marriage because God says so. That's what God wants us to do. We must, he knows he has more wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding than us, okay? Number two is because it's gonna cause relationship issues and you could, okay, you could miss your blessing, okay? The reason why it causes relationship issues is because you're now feeding your flesh and your flesh is gonna rage war against your spirit, okay? So that's gonna cause a whole bunch of issues. It's gonna cause, it's gonna cause corruption, okay? And, um, it's gonna cause like, things that could have been avoided, things that could have easily been avoided, and the reason why I said missing your blessing, because let's say God's ordaining, uh, ordaining two people to come together, but both of them are living in disobedience. Both of them are rebelling. Uh, both of them are, you know, not accepting the blessing. Because a lot of people, guys, they block their blessings. They miss their blessings through their disobedience or maybe because they didn't know it was a blessing. Maybe the devil sent them a blessing, which remember, the devil's blessings are not blessings. They're just curses. But best believe the devil could bless you too. Maybe the blessing that the devil, the curse, the blessing, whatever the devil sends you, your way, maybe that person may appear to look better or on the outside, but the spirit's always, you know, full of spirits, full of demons. Okay. Or maybe that man has more money. So he might be blinded. A lot of people, they miss out on their blessings. God has a man who's willing to, you know, love you, or God has a woman who's willing to, you know, serve you and obey you. And you miss out on those blessings because you chose someone else, which was not ordained from God and you miss out on your blessings. So always understand that just to avoid uh, relationship issues. And a lot of people, they miss out on their blessings, guys, through sin through sin, through willful sin, through disobedience. Number three, as I was just saying, not giving access to the devil. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter four, verse 27, not to give access to the devil, okay? So when you're living a life of willful sin, okay? You don't, you don't feel the need to repent. You feel like it's okay to do it, do things that God says not to do. You're giving access to the devil, which like I said, is gonna cause relationship issues. It's gonna cause a whole bunch of things that could have been avoided through you just, you know, abstaining and you, you know, practicing semen retention, or maybe you're on celibacy, you know, no fat. Okay. So these are all things that can be avoided guys. When you, when you're living a life of willful sin, I'm telling you guys, you're going to give access to the devil in your life. The devil's the soul, a whole bunch of seeds in you. Cause that's how the devil is. He plants seeds in your mind. Oh, maybe this person's not good for me. Maybe. And then, and then the devil starts using your friends to plant more of those seeds in you too. So when you're living a life of willful sin, always understand Satan's going to try to come to steal, kill and destroy, to steal what the blessings that God has for you. Okay. So that's could be a number one sign too, as well. You know, you're not giving access to the devil when you're living a life of uh, sin. Number four is you're not sinning. The reason why you're not to have sex before marriage is because you're not sinning against your own body. Once you realize that, guys, that when you watch, not, not just what fornication, when you watch, it is fornication, now it's just with like, you know, having sex with someone, but like when you watch porn, when you masturbate, you are sinning against your own body. Like if I would have known that 10 years, if, if someone would have taught me that 10 years ago, guys, I would have thought twice before I gave into it. Cause a lot of times when I would watch it back in the days, like I would just willfully give it over with no thought, no knowledge, didn't know that I was sinning against my own body, making me weaker. Okay. Making my body more weaker, maybe getting more prone to being more sick, more illnesses. Okay. Things that could have been avoided. Okay. Always understand it. So always keep that in the back of your mind, guys, whenever you, the temptation, cause everyone battles, everyone has the temptations. Okay. But whenever that temptation starts kicking in, guys, I always understand, do I want to sin against my own body? Okay. Do I want to do that? You know, so always understand. Keep that in mind. Okay. Number five is, this is the key. You know, this is the key right here. Uh, is you're going to reap the benefits of semen retention and celibacy. You are going to reap the, what's semen retention? Pretty much means you're abstaining from sex. Let's say if you're single, you're single, you know, um, I have tons of videos on this, but semen retention is pretty much. No porn, no masturbating, and no sex. You're just abstaining completely. You're harvesting your energy towards better things. Okay, like I said, it's good to do it when you're single. If you're married, you can maybe do it for like a couple of days, a couple of weeks. But the Bible says you don't want to, um, there's a verse saying that you don't want to, um, you have no power over your body. So like if your wife's in the mood, you got to, you know, or if, we, if you're in the mood, she has to, you know, so that's how it is. So you don't want to be on it for like more than, 
I mean, some people some people are married they're like for months hey to each his own but for me no more than like a week or a couple days okay so but that the read the benefits of semen retention now there's many benefits i could that's a, i have a whole bunch of videos on that but some of the best benefits in semen retention is you get more connected to god a uh, more spiritual connection um you have more energy uh but you're, you sleep better at night um more stamina more strength uh, list goes on with the benefits of semen retention. So, and also for can people asking me this too, you know, can females practice it? Of course, but we have different bodies, so we might not have, get the same benefits. But best believe, you're gonna get benefits from being obedient from God. You're gonna get, you're gonna definitely gain benefits. So, I understand that. And uh, number six is avoiding soul ties with the wrong person. All this could be number one, guys. All this could be reasons why not to why to wait till marriage. But you don't want to have soul ties with the wrong person. Okay. Um, Soul ties takes a long time to break. Okay, you're not gonna just break free from if you've been with someone for years or months, even a couple of days, you know, depending on how much activities you guys did, how long you guys were connected for. When you have that soul tie with the wrong person, okay, it's gonna lead to heartbreaks. It's, it's, you're gonna backslide in life. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Now, because you sold to your flesh was roots of corruption. Even the Bible says that when you join bodies with the harlot, uh, you guys become two. You know, to, you guys become, you know, you, or sorry, you guys become one. When 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 a, when a man is joined with the harlot, he now becomes one with her. Okay, so it's going to be a lot harder to let that person go because you guys are connected. Your souls are connected. You guys are not one flesh. So it's going to open. And when, the more you're connected to someone you're not supposed to be, now this, this is what happens. When you're not supposed to be with that person, guys, this is exactly what happens. Okay, you, or, you, or not not, you're giving access to the devil. Guys. You're giving access to him in your life to what? To, what, to do what? To steal, kill, and destroy. It's always best, guys. Brothers and sisters, it's always best is to stay on semen retention. It's always best to practice no fat, especially if you're like, let's say if you're married, let's say if you struggle with like you know porn and stuff like that. It's best to just delete all. You know, even the Bible says if your right hand causes you to sin, Jesus says that to, just to cut it off. So if your phone is causing you to watch those websites, just to throw away your phone. Okay. Um, any type of environment is causing you to you know fall short, don't don't go there no more. Okay. Uh, start fasting and start praying start seeking deliverance because best believe this could this man this definitely will set you back guys i can speak this from experiences too as well make again the soul tie with the wrong person and that would have been avoided guys if i would have just waited until and because remember always understand this too not god doesn't ordain all these marriages the divorce rate is 70 i think it's like 71 percent now the reason why it's so high is because god never ordained a lot of people to be together Okay? And that's why they get divorced and, you know, things go south. So always understand that you don't want to make a, You don't want to have a soul tie with the wrong person. Okay. Some people, guys, they disguise themselves real, real good. They might put up an act because about the Bible says that, you know, a tree by its fruits. Okay. So a good tree cannot bear bad fruit and, and a bad tree cannot um, bear good fruit. Okay? So always understand that this is the key, guys. I'm telling you, you don't want to have a soul tie with the wrong person to set you back, especially being a woman, a weaker vessel. You don't want to, you don't want to, you know, have that in your life, guys. So it's just always best to wait, wait on God and wait on his timing. Because, you know, the Bible says to seek God's kingdom first and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. So you'll get your husband in due time. You'll get your wife in due time. Just wait. And as you're waiting, you want to seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. Okay. What does it mean to seek his righteousness? To live a life of obedience. That's what it means. Okay. Number seven is avoiding corruptions. Galatians chapter six, verse eight says, he who sows to the flesh shall reap corruption. And I could I could tell you guys not just with like the sexual sins, but also with like let's say if you guys have, have like a, a drug addiction, or let's say you have like an alcohol addiction, like you know when you can't you can't stop doing it. Okay, when you feed into your flesh, it's gonna reap corruption. Let, let's say you do get married, right? When you're when you're sowing more into your flesh, it's gonna lead to corruption. Now it's gonna cause problems not only only in your life, but also in your family's life because Satan is always seeking someone to destroy. He's seeking someone who's weak. You gotta understand Satan studies you. He knows your weaknesses. He knows your weak points. He knows what could tempt you, who, who could, you know, get you to fall astray. And you got to understand there's agents. Okay, what is the agent? Someone who's sent by the devil to come on a mission to steal, to kill, and destroy. So always understand that you want to avoid the corruption. And how do you do that? By walking in the spirit, not feeding into your fleshly, lustly desires. Okay, so, okay. I know it's hard. But like I said, guys, you can fast, you can pray, um, you know, read your word. Have other friends and other believers to, you know, uplift you. And also, especially if you're a man, you should be on your purpose. When you're on your purpose, there's no time to watch porn. There's no time to masturbate. There's no time to waste your time on a dating app. There's no time for that because you're on your purpose. You're doing what you got to do. Okay, so st stay busy. You know, this is the same. It's not in the Bible, but people say that an idle mind is a devil's playground. 
And it definitely is, okay? If you're just on your bed all day, not really doing nothing, not having no goals, no motivation, ain't working out, not doing nothing, you're more prone and more easier to fall into, you know, to lose the battle of the spiritual warfare. So stay busy, stay disciplined, maybe go on a walk, um, get gym membership, find a hobby, find something to do, okay? So you want to avoid corruption at all costs, okay? So these are our seven reasons why you want to not have sex before marriage, guys. Number one is because God says so. Number two is because of relationship issues. And you could miss out on your blessing. I said you could. You're not always, but sometimes you can miss out on your blessing. A lot of people, guys, God should have blessed them. God should have given them, you know, prepare a table for them. And they, they go back. They go back to being a foolish woman. Just like how Lot's wife. Lot's wife was going to obtain salvation through her husband. Okay. She missed out on the blessing, their internal salvation, because she, she didn't want the blessing. She blocked God's blessing. So best believe God could give you your husband, your wife, that and sent from him, and you reject it. You don't want it. So and you best believe God's going to give it to someone who's better, <laughs> someone who's deserving. Number three is not giving access to the devil. Ephesians chapter four, verse 24 talks about don't give any place hold to the devil. So don't open any demonic doors to do that or any any doors through sin, willful sin. Number four is not sinning against your own body. Uh, he who commits fornication. So when you're watching porn, when you're masturbating, having sex before marriage, you're sinning against your own body. Number five is you're going to reap the benefits of semen retention and celibacy. Like I said, I have a whole bunch of videos. If you want to check it out, just go on YouTube, type in Mark the Messenger, semen retention. A whole bunch of videos will pop up with benefits. So like that. Number six is avoiding soul ties with the wrong person. Um, soul ties is not a bad thing, guys. It's a bad thing when it's with someone who's not supposed, who's not ordained by God. Okay, having a soul tie with your wife, your husband, nothing wrong with that. But when you have a soul tie with someone who just met, there's dangers in that. Okay, number seven is, and you're gonna avoid corruption. Okay, he who sows his flesh shall reap corruption, and he who sows his spirit shall reap life everlasting. Don't don't be afraid, guys. Don't don't be like sad. Let's say if you guys fell into sin, it's okay. Everyone falls short of the glory of God. Just repent, ask God for forgiveness, and try to walk that narrow path. Try to walk in the Spirit. And best believe God will cover you with the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, smash the like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Check out this end screen right here. And if you wish to support me, my links are down below in the description. I love you guys so much. I am out. Peace.